Okay, uh, thank you for showing up. It's 11 o'clock and early is early, late is late, and on time is what? On time. So thank you, thank you for being on time. Um, this is the Wealth Mastermind Group. We're going over the real estate business blueprint. It comes from the book that my wife and I wrote, How to Get Rich in Real Estate and Have a Life. And most real estate agents think that these two concepts are mutually exclusive, that you have one or the other. And I'm here to tell you that that's not true and what you can do to have both. You can actually have everything and anything you want if you understand the principles of business. And most people don't understand them because our school system did not teach us to be business people. Our school system had, teaches us to be employees, not employers. They teach us to do, get a good job, not have to build a good business. And so that's why we're called the Real Estate uh, Business School, because we're a business school for realtors. That's what we do. The reason why is because what most schools won't tell you is your license guarantees you nothing. It's the entry, it's the fee you pay to get into the game. To get your license, you need a technical education, which is important to have, because most of the lawsuits and contract disputes and complaints to the Real Estate Commission come from contract disputes because people, agents, don't understand how to fill out the form. So it's important to know how to do that. Right? Right. The problem is I've never had, I've, I've been on hundreds of listing presentations. I've done thousands of real estate transactions. I've never had anyone ask me the difference between accretion and erosion. Or how many cubic yards of concrete are in their driveway. But both of those are on the state licensing exam. So the state requires you to have a technical education, which is a great foundation. But if you're going to list property, I suggest you do. Do not put buyers in your car. Do not do that. If you want to get to the top, you've got to become a strong listing agent. When you go on a listing presentation, does the seller want to know if you're going to market their property? Do they want to know if you're going to market their property? Yeah. Do they want to know if you're going to sell it? Yeah. Do they want to know, do they, are they going to want to know if you have the ability to negotiate best price and terms for them? Yeah, so the marketplace says, I don't care about your uh, exam score. I don't need you to have a business education. If, I, was, I, was, I was talking to Mike earlier, and Mike is not licensed yet. He's here because he's curious, which is a great trait to have. And he says he's here to take care, looking to real estate to take care of his own retirement. The best part of real estate is that insider trading is legal. <laughs> Look, you guys are going to see the best deals first. As licensees, you will say great deals out there. So you can list them and sell them to someone else and take 3% and pay your broker, the IRS, and your expenses out of the three, or you can buy it and keep it for yourself. Right? Is there anything illegal with that? Is it immoral? Is it unethical? No. They want to sell, you want to buy, we're down to terms. So this is why we wrote the book. So page 86 shows the real estate business blueprint. This is the expanded version. And each of you should have this. If you don't, raise your hand and we'll give you one. If you're online, go to austininstitute.com and we'll get you one. Okay, so this shows the six components of the business and the definition and goal of each. This program, the Wealth Mastermind Group, is going through this one component at a time. We just finished the marketing component. What is the definition of marketing? Where's your business blueprint? Call them out, bring them to class. Who needs one? Who needs a business blueprint? Please raise your hand. Okay, can we get business blueprints in their hands, please? The definition of marketing is getting known. The goal is prospect, prospect make contact. What's the biggest current lie in marketing out there in real estate today? What's the new lie to get you to buy their stuff? Cold calling's dead. Cold calling's not dead. Cold calling is alive and well. You're going to run out of warm people you know to talk to, right? What are you going to do after that? If your phone doesn't ring, what are you going to do? You've got to call somebody. If you don't know them, that's called a what? Cold call. You've got to be generating leads two to three hours a day, every day. What business are you in? What business are you in? Education. Teach people how to buy. Teach people how to sell. The most successful real estate uh, website I ever had was called refisbo.org. Fisbo's were my strength, and I told every one of them, 
I'm going to help you sell. I'm the only broker in the state that created a website to help you help sell your home without a broker. I'm like, why would you do that? So because nine out of ten of you won't do it. Nine out of ten are going to list with the broker eventually. So all they did was tell them everything they knew. And once they saw how much was involved, they went, holy mackerel, that's a lot of stuff. I said, I know. That's why you need a pro. Do you pull your own teeth? Do you dress your own back? Do you sew up your own stitches? No, you get a pro. you pay your own taxes? Why? So we need to become more professional. We need to educate them. They need us. We need them. We're down to terms. So that's what this whole thing is about. Cold calling is not dead. What's the number one tool under marketing? Please look at your business blueprint. Under these are all the tools that you're going to need. If you have the tools, you can get rich and have the life you want. I think most of you ask me, most of you ask me two things. What do I do? How do I do it? You need tools. Then you need to know how to use the tool. So what's the first tool under marketing? Unique marketing position. It's a phrase that elevates, separates, differentiates, and distinguishes you from all your competitors. You've got to have a position in the marketplace. How do people see you? So that's the number one tool in the marketing. So these are the other tools that we've covered. We're now going into sales.